so here we have a question regarding method of undetermined coefficient which is basically uh, the questions uh, from differential equations and here we have to find the solution for this given equation now to solve this firstly we have to find the characteristic roots of this equation and to do this we have to equate the auxiliary equation this is our auxiliary equation e equated to zero so we will do it over here we will write it as auxiliary equation which is d3 minus 1 equals to 0 and uh, d cubed is equals to 1 finding the cube root we will be getting 1 as a cube root and uh, the other two cube roots will be minus 1 plus iota under root 3 over 2 and uh, minus 1 minus iota under root 3 over 2 so these are the characteristic roots so finally we can write the complementary function which is uh, we are writing the complementary function okay so it will be y of c is equals to or y c i don't know what you guys read it so it will be firstly we have uh, 1 here so it is c1 e power x and uh, further we have complex roots so it will be e power minus x and c2 cos under root 3 over 2 plus c2 uh, c2 we have already written so it will be c3 sine under root 3 over 2 x so this will be our complementary function and for the particular solution we have y p is equals to x cubed plus 2 now for methods of undetermined coefficients we can see here we have uh, x cubed so we have to convert it into um, cubic equation okay so it will be y of p is equals to a x cube plus b x square plus c x and plus d we can left to right here because 2 is like a constant so d is representing a constant over here so we can uh, leave it over here and uh, now we have to find its derivative how many derivatives we have to find we have to calculate we have to calculate three derivatives because in our equation we have d3 and d uh, okay so no no d just d3 yeah so we have to find three derivatives now the first derivative it will be 3a x square plus 2bx plus c second derivative will be 6ax plus 2b and the third and the last derivative will be 6a okay this will be equals to 0 so we have a third derivative over here we have y of p so now let's put it into our equation which was d3 minus 1 times y so it will be d3y minus y is equals to x cube minus uh, x cube plus 2 so in place of d3y we can write 6a this is d3y so we can write it 6a minus in place of y so we can replace it like yp it was a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d uh, let's put it in the brackets and uh, yes we will have 6a minus a x cube minus b x squared minus c of x uh, c x and minus d is equals to x cube plus 2 and uh, now you can observe that for x cube term we just have minus a x cube and uh, x cube so we can compare both of them and for our constant we have 6a 
minus d and plus 2 so we can also compare them too but for these two poor guys which are b and c we don't have any comparable terms over right hand sides so we can write it as 0 times x square and 0 times x and we can say that b is equal to 0 and c is also equal to 0 so without further ado let's compare them by comparing we can write minus a times x cube i am firstly comparing cube term so we can have a and from here it is x cube x cubed and x cube will be cancelled out so minus a will be equals to 1 and a is now minus 1 now for d we can write 6a minus d is equals to plus 2 for a we have 6 times minus a and uh, minus d is equals to 2 so it is minus d 2 plus 6 minus d is equals to 8 and d will be minus 8 so we have a and d over here and we have already discussed that b is 0 and c is also 0 so for the particular solution we can write it y uh, y p is equals to it was a x cube so it will be minus x cube plus b x square it will be 0 we don't have to write it plus c x which will also be 0 and then in the last we will have minus 8 so this is our particular solution and we also have calculated the complementary function so the final solution y is just the sum of these two so y is equals to y c plus y p so y c which uh, which was c1 e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power minus x c2 cos i guess uh, yeah it was under root 3 over 2 x no it was in minus x we got minus 1 over 2 so it will be minus 1 over 2 yeah and uh, it will be c3 sine under root 3 over 2x minus x cube minus 8 let me just correct the uh, complementary function which i have done over here yeah so i can write i should have written it minus 1 over 2 so now we have finally solved the solution and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i'll see you next time